Hello everyone, it's Dale here with new weekly trading ideas video. What you see before you is NinjaTrader 8 platform with my custom-made volume profile and VWAP indicators. This is Euro dollar chart and you are looking at a 30 minute time frame. So uh, the first trading idea to talk about is this support, which is at 1.0844. And this support is based on this strong rejection of lower prices that occurred on Friday. Generally speaking, uh, the euro is more on the buy side. There was this strong uptrend, little correction, but then there was the strong rejection of lower prices, which is a sign of aggressive buyers jumping in and pushing the price upwards again. And one more thing here is, if you use the volume profile here within the rejection, then this is the reason why I want to go long from here, this heavy volume zone, because this is showing us the place where buyers started to jump in and eventually those buyers manipulated the price to shoot upwards. So this is the place where the buyers jumped in, where most of their volumes got traded. So this is important place and when there is a pullback to it, if there is a pullback to it, then chances are that the buyers from here will become aggressive again and push the price upwards from there again. Now what I'm going to do when the price is somewhere around this zone, I'm going to open the order flow software and I'm going to use it to better time my trade entry and trade exit. If you don't have order flow, you can just enter the trade as the price touches this level. All right, so that's the rejection setup on the euro dollar. You trade the rejection setup when there's a strong rejection like this and when you see significant volume bump within the rejection like this one. So that's for the euro. Now the next trading idea is on the Australian dollar, Japanese yen. So you are looking at 30 minutes chart of the Australian dollar, Japanese yen and in here there is a strong uptrend and within the uptrend, within this leg of the uptrend, uh, there is a significant volume cluster. This one, this is the significant volume cluster, which is telling us that buyers who are pushing the price upwards or adding to the long positions in here as they were pushing through this important zone, through those highs. So they were adding to the long positions here and then they pushed the price even higher. Now the level which I have here is this one at the beginning of that heavy volume zone. It is exactly at 104 and I have it here for two reasons. First one is beginning of that heavy volume zone and also as I was showing you the price was reacting here in the past. This means that in the past this was a resistance zone. The price blew past that resistance zone in here, which made the resistance a new support. All right. So it is actually a confluence of two trading setups. One is the volume profile setup in here, that heavy volume cluster. And the second one is a price action setup, which is telling us that resistance became a support. Both those are at this same level. So um, that's a nice trading combo that I like to trade and currently I'm just waiting for that pullback and when it occurs, if it occurs, then I'm going to go long from there. All right, so that's my plan on the Australian dollar Japanese yen and let me now go forward and talk about the next trading idea. It will be on the Euro British Pound. So this is a 30 minute time frame of the Euro British Pound and the level which I have here is a resistance at 0.8576. If you look at the weekly volume profile, this one, the one on the left, it is showing us how the volumes were distributed throughout the whole previous week. The point of control is in here. It's weekly point of control, which means the heaviest volumes throughout the whole previous week were traded here. And from that weekly point of control, 
there's this sell-off. So it looks like sellers were building up their short positions here in this rotation, making this point of control, and then they pushed the price aggressively downwards. So it is likely that if there's a pullback to the beginning of that heavy volume zone, it's likely that there'll be a reaction as the sellers from here will want to defend their short positions and push the price downwards again. You can also use the flexible volume profile to look into this, but it will show you the same thing as uh, the fixed profile on the left, right? It will show you heavy volume zone, which was formed within the rotation from which the strong sell off started. So both profiles are showing the same thing. Currently, we just need to wait. And if there is a pullback to this level, chances are there'll be a reaction. There is one thing that's a bit risky here. And the thing is that there's quite a weak high in here. This is weak high. I think that some liquidity could be above those highs, above those candles. So this is a bit risky because if the price comes close uh, to that zone, it could just shoot past it, taking that liquidity from here. So that's risky and that's one of the reasons why I placed the level a little bit below that heavy volume cluster. So ideally the price reacts somewhere in this zone and is not attracted by the liquidity in here because if it goes higher, then chances are the price will go past this liquidity zone. All right. So that's my take on the Euro British pound. If you guys are interested in learning more about volume profile trading, then head over to my website. This is it, trader-dale.com. And if you click this button, which says trading course and tools, then it will take you to this page where you can browse my trading education and custom made indicators. And here, this is the volume profile pack, which will teach you everything about volume profile trading and provide you with my custom made volume profile indicators. And below that, there's the Oriflow pack, which will show you everything about day trading with Oriflow and provide you with my custom made Oriflow and volume profile indicator. And if you are interested in getting both, then there is a special combo pack, which includes both the volume profile pack as well as everything that's included in the Oriflow pack. So that's about that. Now, before I wrap the video up, I'd like to announce a winner of a contest we had last time. The price of a contest were my custom made indicators, that's volume profile and the video app indicators for TradingView platform. And right now on your screen, you see the name of the person who won in the contest. So congratulations to the winner. And what I'll do next is I'll do another contest for the next week. The only thing that you need to do to participate in the contest is leave a comment below this video, which I'll publish on YouTube. And next week, I'll randomly pick one person to win those set of indicators. All right. So that's about that. Thanks for watching the video and I'll be looking forward to seeing you next time. And until then, happy trading.